the Legislative Assembly, Mr. Brendan Smith and Mr. Andrew Wall. The CEO of the ACT Chamber, ACT and Regional Chamber of Commerce, Mr. Andrew Blight. The USA Chancellor, Mr. John Mackay. Our Managing Director, Mr. David Fuller. CEO, Alan Davis. And Group General Manager, Mr. Lee Barnsley. I also note Robert McMillan has joined us today. Robert's an absolute icon in the Australian print industry. And to have him here for this momentous occasion is truly humbling. <laughs> Unfortunately, Mrs. Tatsmith, who must be who must be regarded as the Queen Mother of the Canberra printing industry, is ill and couldn't make it here today. Welcome to you all. I'd now like to call on our MD, Mr David Fuller, to say a few words. Thank you, Ian. Uh, Minister, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the ACT industry has been through some turbulent times, and out of this was identified as an opportunity for focus to establish itself with leading its, its sustainable printing technologies in the region. We see Canberra as a great fit to focus. Uh, we, recently, we recently established a state-of-the-art facility in Illawarra, and we really excited this opportunity to complement the Illawarra incredibly well. Uh, I believe there's great potential for these two, two regions to work together and develop strong business partnerships. The new facility will provide quality short print management solutions, graphic design services, online communication, offset, personalised digital printing under high security conditions, wide format printing, promotional merchandise, warehousing, logistics and distribution services. We operate as a lean enterprise. We work closely with our supply chain to measure, manage and reduce cost impacts and carbon footprints for our customers through a structured cost saving program. Sustainability has long been a part of the fabric of focus press, and we believe firmly that environmental society and social responsibility are imperative as part of the long-term economic stability of our group and sustainability. We have eliminated traditional volatile solvents uh, during the printing process. We run process-free plates. We have eliminated the need for alcohol or isopropyl alcohol uh, in our dancing system as opposed to the other in the evening. Um, we're the only printer in the ACT in New South Wales to be certified under the Australian Government's National Carbon Offset Standard, which means all our products are carbon neutral. We've made a big commitment to, to doing business in Canberra, with initial investment in the region of $8 million and creating up to 50 items of manufacturing jobs this year. Uh, we'll invest further dollars over the next couple of months installing the latest equipment and technology. Uh, one of these uh, few things we're bringing to the region and to the world, in fact, is uh, a product called NetPage. Uh, NetPage is a, an app, and it turns every page uh, into an interactive experience. Uh, we'll be pleased to demonstrate uh, how it works later on behind you. Uh, their page requires no visible code um, and it could link you straight to the internet or buy off the page. I invite you to view uh, uh, the table that's the plate over to your mind after this. Thank you very much for all the work you did. Thank you, Dave. Um, I now invite the Chamber of Commerce and Region to see Yannick and his wife to address the audience. Thank you very much. Locally, there are about 26,000 small businesses spread throughout Canberra and the surrounding region, contributing to the well-being of the ACT economy. Today, that figure climbs to 26,001. The Chamber warmly welcomes Focus Print to Canberra, in particular to Hume, and we also very much welcome the entrepreneurial spirit of all involved with Focus Print. A key advantage of doing business in Canberra is the ease of connecting people through word of mouth. For example, I'm delighted that my neighbour, Andrew Nowland from Laser Electrical, 
a tune based business is here today as he was pleased to hear about a new printing business opening up and that he may use them for his printing needs. One phone call. Well, actually, I hit him up in the car park of our girls' primary school, to be honest, but you get my point. In closing, the Chamber is a stronger organisation for having Focus Print as a member. We wish you nothing but success. Thank you. Thanks for those kind words, Andy. Um, it's with great pleasure I now call on the Deputy Chief Minister, Mr Andrew Barr, to say a few words and officially launch this wonderful facility. Thank you very much, Ian, and a good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's, uh, it is indeed a great honour to be invited uh, to perform the, uh, the official opening today, but I'd like to begin by acknowledging uh, that we're on the lands uh, of the Ngunnawal people and to pay respect to their elders past and present. And to thank you all for taking time out of your busy schedules to be here to mark this important occasion. It's a fantastic investment in the ACT, and I'd like to take this opportunity to congratulate David and Ian and all of the team at Focus Press for their confidence in the ACT economy uh, and their confidence in the future of the printing industry. An $8 million investment, 50, uh, 50 jobs in our economy with a promise of more to come uh, is a, an important sign of confidence in our city. As we enter into our second century, Canberra offers a range of brilliant possibilities for the private sector. And the, the sorts of investments that we're seeing like today, in the future of business and in the networks that, uh, that are established from events like today, will be critical to our ongoing success. Our economy is one of the, the most strongly performing in Australia outside of the resource-rich uh, states. But let's not talk ourselves down. Our future is very bright. Investments like today, announcements like today, provide us all with confidence for the future. And it's not, it's not an easy decision to make, to invest and to make significant investments like David and the team have done. I want to commend them for their entrepreneurship, commend them for their passion for the industry and for their desire to involve uh, the education institutions in our city. Uh, David and I were having a conversation just before about the need to boost training and investment opportunities uh, for the next generation of workers. So it is terrific to see a desire to invest in apprentices and in the education and training opportunities in the printing industry. David, I commend you and your team for that. That is a, a fantastic investment in the future and it's great to see that, that this industry uh, has a strong future in the Territory and the investment today are absolutely assured that. I wish you and your team all the very best and ladies and gentlemen, it is my very great pleasure to uh, formally declare open focus print. Good luck and all the best for the future. Minister, I know your time is precious and we really appreciate you launching our new facility. That brings to a close the formal proceedings for today. Thank you all for your attendance, support and encouragement and I invite you all to continue to enjoy the hospitality on offer and join a site tour that will be conducted shortly. Thank you all. I now, I now invite the Minister to start the process. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry.
Amazon. Thank you.